What's going on my bears? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are at Tanya Hakata. I'm going to show you the menu real quick. This place is right inside Hakata Station and it's actually pretty famous and well known for their breakfast set menus. So basically the set menu is just beef tongue with uh, different things on the side so you can get the Paul Grow, which is a Fukuoka staple and you can get things like uh, grated yam just cool. Oh, thank you. And the set has arrived. Uh, they basically took my order as soon as I got here. So, yep, there you go. So we got the set with the beef tongue, pollock roe, or uh, mentaiko, and the uh, egg. And you get some soup too. Very cool. So here's a look at the inside of the restaurant. It's very cool. You can do some counter seating, or you can get seated at a table, which is what we're doing. I'm very excited to eat all of this. This will be one of the best places for breakfast in all of Fukuoka. So let's dig in. Fresh rice. Mm. Okay, let's get a little bit of this beef tongue. It smells and looks amazing. It's a little smoky too. Okay. Perfect amount of chew, perfect amount of salt and pepper. Mm. That is some really good really fun. Let's take a look at this pollock roe. So some of you might not like this. It is roe, so it is fish egg. But I'm actually a huge fan of, of roe, so this is very exciting for me. Mmm. Oh my god, wow. This is actually super delicious. This is some of the, no, definitely, definitely the best grow I've ever had. It is a little salty. But it's seriously really, really good. Okay, so Tina has cracked her egg into her rice. This is a pretty uh, common thing to do in Japan. Uh, it's called a uh, tamago bohan, and it's a very common breakfast. So those of you who are kind of scared about eating raw egg in Japan, you really don't have to worry about that. The chances of getting uh, like salmonella here is pretty much next to nothing. So let's go ahead and crack this egg. Boom, just like that. I hope I didn't miss or spill over the edge. I don't think I did. I think I'm okay. And we are just going to mix in this yolk and egg all nice into the rice. Did not intend to rhyme right there, but I did. <laughs> My favorite thing about Japanese eggs is definitely the color. because It's such a nice, beautiful shade of orange. So I'm just going to mix this in as best I can with one hand. Uh, my bowl is spinning a little bit, but that's okay. So typically people will have this uh, tamago gohan uh, for breakfast. And if you want to add a little bit of flavor, you can put some soy sauce in here, which I'm assuming is this. So let's just put some soy sauce, just a little bit. That's good. That was probably too much. Or not, actually, no, I don't think that was too much. This is a lot of rice after all. So I'm just gonna mix this in nice and good. All right. And in typical fashion, we are going to bring the bowl to our mouth and kind of uh, do a little shoveling into our face. Mmm. So So, so good. The egg is nice and creamy. Soy sauce is, uh, it's nice to have, but honestly not necessary. Why don't we add some of the uh, roe to our rice? Gives it a nice, uh, nice splash of color. And we can just sort of spread this roe around in the rice. 
mix it in. So we got some roast, some rice, egg, and soy sauce. Mmm. That's good. That's so good. Now I will say, if you are going to add the roe to your rice, definitely don't use soy sauce because the roe is already a little salty. And the soy sauce, of course, the soy sauce, so it's a little salty. And putting those both together, it's a, kind of like a salt bomb in your mouth, so I would advise against it. Ooh, look at the salad though. I wonder what kind of dressing they use. A little sour. Kind of just tastes like coleslaw a bit. But it is a nice refreshing little salad. I'm gonna add some of this lemon to the beef top. See if that like improves the flavor at all or enhances the flavor. Just got some lemon juice on the beef top. Mm. It does definitely give it a nice flavor, but I think I prefer it without, so that's just me. So the final thing we got to try here is the soup. So why don't we have a little bit of this soup? Oh my god. Whoa. I don't know what soup this is. But it is so good. Oh my god. Yo, the soup might just be the best thing. In this entire breakfast, honestly, might be the best thing. But that about wraps it up. Pretty short video. Just sip on some tea. We've enjoyed a great breakfast here. I definitely have to give this place my recommendation. Uh, if you're ever in Fukuoka, make sure you get here between the hours of 7 and 10. So they do stop the uh, set breakfast at 10 o'clock. So if you want this nice deal right here, definitely make it for 10 o'clock. I'm going to finish up my breakfast. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, catch you in the next video. Stay hungry.